my name is Tyler, aka Ty Illy, or Thank You, I Love You, and I'm a very, very, very small artist <laughs> in Sydney, Australia. You can check out some of my stuff on my Instagram. It's Ty underscore underscore Illy, so I L Y. I'll put I'll put the spelling somewhere here for you if you want to go check that out. Welcome to my August August vlog. Um, I try to make these little studio vlogs once a month just to kind of share my process and I guess a cute little documentation of where I'm at in my art journey and yeah I hope you guys find some of the information uh, that I do share helpful or interesting and yeah main focus for this month has been preparing for my very first artist market so if you're in the same boat this will probably be super helpful for you I hope I hope but yeah enjoy the vlog and I'll see you I don't know I'll see you when I see you okay bye <laughs> Also, I always forget to say this, but please like and subscribe because it really helps me out. Thank you. Yay! That's it. Enjoy the vlog. Thanks. <laughs> today but I'm too lazy so you get my full dark circle experience today um, but I have some super exciting news I just heard um, a few days ago that I got into Mellow Art Market ah! <laughs> I got into Mellow in Melbourne so I'm gonna be there in September so I've got a lot of stuff to prepare um, but it's super exciting because I can finally show you guys little sneak peeks of what I've been working on mm -hmm. kind of behind the scenes and you guys can see how I prepare for my first art market so super exciting ah! also uh, for the past few days I've been in, in Canberra so that's just a different state in Australia um, and yeah my partner and I were just going there because he had a work thing on and I wanted to come with him and we realized that us Comic Con was on the day that we uh, got into Canberra so we were like why not let's stop by and see what it's all about and of course we spent even more money <laughs> in the artist alley there so I'm gonna do a little Canberra us Comic Con haul for you guys now okay so First thing are these really cute prints that we got from uh, Ni Pan Pan. We got, I think it was one, two, three, four, five, like a deal for five of them. They're so cute. They're so cute. Obviously, lots of cats and bunnies and ducks. <laughs> All of my favorites. Oh, I love this one. Look how big he is! So cute! And this. So adorable. Sorry by the way, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little sick so I'll probably sound a bit congested. A lot of you will probably recognize this print. <laughs> this is from Pinstachio. It was so cute. I actually, like, when I first saw this I was like, oh I really want to get it as a print. And luckily she was there. So I got it. Ah, so cute. I love the meme too. It's just so chill. I feel that. <laughs> I got this really cute, um, or this really cool new jeans print by Milker. Milker. So cool. I love it. It's got like all of the lyric references and I love the, the composition of it. It's so cool to look at. And that's by Milko. This one was so cool. Um, 
So it's all of the Sailor Moon Scouts, but disco version, and you have no idea how much I love this. <laughs> this is by an artist called Larissa Cook. She's so awesome, so nice. She gave us a really cute sort of tour um, of all her artwork and what she does. And she's got, she likes to have this sort of, I think, Australiana theme. Um, so she also does this lot of stuff like prints of Australian wildlife and flowers and it was all really cool but I love this her art style is just so unique and so colorful and bright I love it go check her stuff out and I got this very big <laughs> spirited away print and this is from Tim Tam art so cool I love I love this style so much. It sort of reminds me of a more like like cartoon style if that makes sense. I love how bright and colorful everything is and there's just so much to look at in all of all of his drawings which is really cool. So go check him out. It's so cool. And finally we got this um this really cute Yamcha print. <laughs> um, it's like all of these little chicks and ducks at Yamcha. Oh my god, it's so cute. This is by Little Lori Designs. Um, this is one that we definitely are going to frame and put up somewhere nice in our living room, probably. But yeah, everything about this is amazing, even down to the the paper it's printed on. Sorry, the glare is crazy. Even down to the paper it's printed on. It's printed on like fine art paper, which is so cool. Um, you can really tell. <clears throat> you can tell the paper is super high quality. The print is super high quality and <sighs> definitely going to keep an eye out for um, this artist at more places because I want to get more stuff from them. <laughs> but yeah, so that was it for my haul. I'm going to pop everything up on my wall and Right now, I'm or I'm about to start printing a bunch of prints for Mello, and I'm thinking because obviously I have my A5 prints, but I also want to do different sizes, so I do want to do them in at least A4. But I don't know. I do also want to do A3 prints, but like the paper is so expensive, so I don't know. I'm trying to figure out right now. Like maybe I just do like five A3 prints or like a really small print run for them for the bigger sizes. I mean, yeah, I don't know. My brain hurts, <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely going to do A4 prints though. And I think I might just make that default the biggest because I am also worried about how the quality is going to be as A3. Um, I don't know if my canvas size has been big enough, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do a test print and see how it goes.
exciting stuff. Um, obviously, I've been working on a bunch of like new products and stuff in the background, and quite a few of them have come in. So I'm gonna start sharing it with you guys. Ah, okay. So I've been working on two collections, I guess you could call them. Um, one of them is called Sending Love, and the other one is Silly Goose Club. Yes, I know, how exciting. And half of the stuff has come in. I'm still waiting on a lot of stuff, but I thought I might as well show you guys now. I'll start off with the Sending Love collection. So the very first thing that I ordered were these, like, sticky notepads. Ooh. Let me get that out of the packaging for you. So the whole, I guess, idea of this collection is all of the different ways that we send love um, in our modern world, like, you know, through email, text message, um, self-care, things like that. So, got a little bunny and a little text box. And that's just a little sticky notepad and it's really cute and I'm really happy with how all the colors turned out. I was actually really worried that it wasn't going to be super vibrant, but I'm quite happy with it. And then I got this sticker sheet, or I made this sticker sheet. It's got like, you know, the this is I guess the main graphic for it. Ooh, ooh, I'm like a makeup guru. That's the main graphic for it, the little bunny jumping out of the computer with a little love letter. And then I've got a phone that has one new message, a little bunny, and a little Tamagotchi that's like taking care of things. And a bunch of little hearts and sparkles. Um, just as little extra tiny stickers that you can use to decorate. So I'm really excited to share that. And even more exciting. Check it out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I got these little um, corduroy bucket hats embroidered with that little bunny with the letter. So cute. I love these so much. Oh my god. I'm so glad I picked corduroy. I was going to do fluffy bucket hats, um, but then I figured, you know, corduroy is much more versatile. You can wear it all year round, whereas with a fluffy bucket hat, I feel like that's kind of a winter only thing. And it's pretty much like mostly hot and warm here in Australia. So, oh, where is it? So I went with corduroy, which I think was a really good decision. Also very exciting. Ah, my God, t-shirts. <laughs> I really wanted to get them in more sizes. I only got them in small, medium, and large, but it is quite expensive to get t-shirts printed. So I'm sticking to that for now, but in the future, I am hoping to be able to order it in more sizes. <sighs> but I'm still so happy with how it turned out. The pink is so nice, and the design just looks so cool on the shirt. They're unisex shirts too, so they're comfy for everyone. And yeah, I'm so proud of it. And moving on to the Silly Goose Club collection. Let me show you what I have. This is the Silly Goose Club. <laughs> We've got all of these silly little geese. That's, yep, that's my favorite silly little goose right there. Um, I got these, all of them printed out on a sticker sheet. I also have individual stickers for each of them, um, just a bit bigger than these ones. I've also got prints of um, all of the geese together also. And I think I'm waiting on shirts and acrylic charms for all of the geese. So yeah, I've still got a lot of stuff I'm waiting on, but that's what I have so far. I'm so excited to share these at Mellow Mart um, and eventually on my online store. So keep an eye out for them. I'm so proud of these two collections. Oh, I've worked so hard. 
on getting everything together and trying to find good people to work with to get it manufactured, to get everything manufactured, and I'm really happy with everything so far, so yay! <laughs> expecting to do much today so I wasn't really gonna do any filming but I got some product in so let me do a quick haul it's just like two small things so first of all I got my second enamel pin they're really small really cute there it is yes it's too small there we go it's so cute I'm so happy with it. Um, it turned out really, really, really nice. Uh, I was kind of worried that these would be too small, but I'm kind of happy that I'm giving the option to, you know, get a tinier pin if you want that. So I'm super happy with those. And I got these acrylic charms. Ugh. And they came in a massive, massive bag. And I'm like, yay, now I have to sort them. Fine, I can do that. Lord knows I love, I love pointless little tasks. But let me pull a few of them out and just show you guys. Here's one of them when it decides to turn around. Wow. I'm like, I'm so happy with these. I got it. I didn't just get acrylic charms, I got them also with uh, the epoxy coating, which is like an extra, they just add a layer of epoxy on top of the acrylic, and it just makes it a bit more scratch resistant and heavy duty, and I really like the way they feel, because usually acrylic charms are very light, um, but I like the extra weight that these have, even though they're so small. Like, they're not super heavy, but, you know, they feel nice. They have a nice weight. There we go. Little Sony Goose. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the only thing I'm waiting on now are shirts. Just one more batch of shirts. And then I'll have everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everything I ordered. I do want to make a few things, too, but that'll be for the next vlog. You'll see. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, okay, let's do things.